Good afternoon. Good afternoon. There have been a lot of reports and the potential for violence against members of Congress over the last several days. Let me be clear, I do not condone violence. There are no leaders in this building, no rank and file members in this building that condone violence, period. I've received threats since I assumed elected office, not only because of my position, but also because I'm Jewish. I've never blamed anyone in this body for that, period. Any suggestion that a leader in this body would incite threats or acts against other members is akin to saying that I would endanger myself, my wife, or my children. Just recently, I have been directly threatened. A bullet was shot through the window of my campaign office in Richmond this week, and I've received threatening emails. But I will, not re I will not release them because I believe such actions will only encourage more to be sent. I want to stress this, and it's very important. Legitimate threats should be treated as security issues and they should be dealt with by the appropriate law enforcement officials. It is reckless to use these incidents as media vehicles for political gain. That is why I have deep concerns that some, DCCC Chairman Chris Van Hollen and DNC Chairman Tim Kaine in particular, are dangerously fanning the flames by suggesting, suggesting that these incidents be used as a political weapon. Security threats against members of Congress is not a partisan issue, and they should never be treated that way. To use such threats as political weapons is reprehensible. I'm not naive enough to think that letters, statements, or press releases will prevent anyone disturbed enough to commit violence from acting. But I do know that such letters, statements, and press releases can very easily fan the flames. By ratcheting up the rhetoric, some will only inflame these situations to dangerous levels. Enough is enough. It has to stop. We need to move forward and get back to addressing the important issues facing our nation and let law enforcement handle these situations. Thank you.